What's up everybody, I'm back, it's off another video, now for this one, we're going to be talking about reasons why Fast and Furious 9 could be one of the best action movies of all time. Now, we already know that Fast and Furious 9 is probably going to be PG-13 anyways, but they ain't going to stop us from enjoying the movie. Um, because look at Avengers, for instance, Avengers, look at the, that franchise, for instance, that has like a PG-13 rating, right? Um, and you still didn't expect a lot of stuff that happened in the film, like in Avengers Endgame, Thanos had his head chopped off, he had his arm chopped off and his head chopped off, sort of at the beginning of the movie, right? See, um, Fast and Furious has so much violence, so much action, so much exposing, so much everything you would want in an action franchise. Now, um, I can understand that people get upset if it end up being just PG, because if it's just rated PG, that means you ain't going to get that much violence at all. But if it's PG-13, then you get all that stuff, basically. But it won't be as brutal. You know, if it's rated R, you might see heads coming off and everything. Like, I'm talking about you might see the blood and everything. And, um, and stuff. Now, reasons why Fast Fish 9 could be one of the best action movies of all time. Now... Y'all gotta look at the big picture. Look at John Cena, right? A lot of people think that John Cena um, is not a good actor. A lot of people think John Cena is not a good actor. I mean, he's good at some things. And I heard he's going to completely shine in Fast and Furious 9. And um, because if you think about it, John Cena and Dominic Toretto, you know, um, John Cena's character and Dominic Toretto might be having a freaking big ass face off, you know, like they might be whooping each other's ass and stuff. That would be a freaking amazing to see, right? And um, you do got some John Cena fans that will go see it just because John Cena's in it. Um, and you got, and you also got people that's diehard Fast and Furious fans that will go see the movie, the movie regardless. Um, and reasons why Fast and Furious Nine could be one of the best action films of all time is because the story like yes Hobbs and Shaw didn't have the strongest story it didn't I think Fast 8 had the strongest story in the whole franchise if you really think about it because it was so different and so new that you didn't see nothing like the story detail that they put in Fast 8 so Fast 8 had a strong story but Hobbs and Shaw didn't have a strong story but it had a great action great comedy and all that stuff um and fast nine um fast nine they're building a big universe with the whole franchise in general they're building they're being like marvel's the marvel cinematic universe so you might consider fast and furious universe the fast and furious cinematic universe because um because like look at fast and furious like seven and eight those two made a little over a billion dollars. Yes, Furious 7 made a little bit more than Fast Day, but Fast Day still made it to the billion dollar mark, though. It still made it there. But, um, both movies did. But, um, and then, you know, Hobbs and Shaw made, like, 700 and, 750 million, yeah, 750 million dollars in box office so far. So, that's a spinoff. So, Fast 9 could be the best... Like, they might look at that film and say, we got to top that somehow, you know, like Dom, you know, Vin Diesel's character, all of them, the whole people behind, all the people behind Fast and Furious 9, they're like, we got to find ways to top the whole franchise in general. So, Fast and Furious 9 could be the best action film of all time. And I think they're going to put more racing scenes in it. Possibly, they're going to pay attention to a lot of the fans. And I was watching this one video of Ludacris and Vin Diesel and Michelle Rodriguez, they said that we got way more surprise <laughs> coming in this one, way more. So, so could that be, you might get a lot of the original cast members back also. And it might be twists and turns we don't see coming in Fast 9. So, I cannot wait to see what the next story is going to be. And I heard somebody say on over the freaking internet, you know, over YouTube. And all over freaking Facebook, I heard somebody say, it's the same story over and over and over again. No, it ain't. I'm sorry. No, it ain't. It ain't the same story over and over and over again. They do different stories. Fast State was different from Fury 7. It was different. 
because they both had a different story that they told in those films. And then, you know, you got the um, spinoff, which is it's also different. And I'm excited for Fast and Furious 9. I really am. And, um, and plus, you got Justin Lin to come back to direct Fast and Furious 9. And they're filming that film now as we speak. And they're really close to filming. <coughs> <coughs> See, it wouldn't surprise me if we get a trailer. I talked about this a lot. It wouldn't surprise me if we get a Fast and Furious 9 trailer either on Christmas or a month after Christmas. It's going to be between those lines. That's what I'm guessing. Not any promises. That's just what I'm guessing. Because I've been wrong before and I've also been right before. So so hopefully this one's right. It's going to, The trailer might drop either on around Christmas or a month after Christmas. That's my predictions right now. Because we got a few months before Christmas anyways. And stuff. So yeah. Um, I'm excited for Fast 9. These are reasons why Fast and Furious 9. Could be the best action film of all time. And one of my favorite action films I've seen this year. Was John Wick Chapter 3. And Hobbs and Shaw. Both of them movies. Are the, or, or of course Avengers Endgame. Those three movies. Are the best action movies. I have seen all year. And. Um. And I'm just excited for Fast and Furious 9. We got less than a year now to go see Fast 9. We really do. We got like eight months, I think. I think we got eight, maybe seven months now until it comes out. And I cannot wait. So that means that we should be able to get a trailer around either on Christmas or a month after Christmas. It's going to be between those lines. That's what I'm guessing. So, yeah, um, and I'm excited for Fast and Furious 9. These are the reasons why Fast and Furious 9 could be the best Fast and Furious film. I mean, the best action film of all time. And it could probably be, be the biggest. The biggest. Because people are talking about that all over around the internet right now. People are talking about Fast and Furious 9 everywhere. So, this is probably going to be the biggest Fast and Furious movie. This might make the most money and stuff. And... Because I was watching this interview with Vin Diesel um, um, when Avengers Endgame came out. He said that as much as we're going to celebrate Avengers Endgame, he's got Fast 9 coming out next year. So he's going to celebrate that movie also. Because that's the next biggest movie he's going to be a part of. So, of course. So, yes, he didn't play a big part in the Avengers. He played a small, small part. Group. He played the voice group. But he still probably made a lot of money from that character. Anyways, but um, but I don't, the only thing he says is I am Groot. So so it's like Vin Diesel probably don't even care if he plays the main character or not in the Avengers. You know why? Because he's got the Fast and Fierce franchise. So why would he care if they if they want to put him in the one of the main characters? Why would he care? Because he's got Fast Nine coming out. You know, and he's gonna play the main one of the main main characters in the freaking movie. So, so you know he's happy about that. So he's like, well, I don't have to do that. I got Fast and Furious Nine and Ten coming out soon. And the Fast Ten, I think, is coming out like a year after Fast Nine. They're doing that Marvel shit now. You know, Avengers Endgame came out a year after Avengers Infinity War. But um, <clears throat> yeah, I hope that in Fast and Furious Ten, they end the story well. They make it so good to where, because normally when somebody makes a bad movie, I want them to make one more, as crazy as that sounds. I want them to make another one because they can learn from their mistakes. Because they make a movie that sucks, then that's going to be a final one. I'm like, so, so you so just could leave us hanging like that? Like, like leave a bad taste in our mouth because of that shit? Um, that's why, like, I'm hoping that Fast and Furious 9 and 10 is going to be equally great. Like, I'm hoping that Fast and Furious 9 is going to be spectacular, and Fast and Furious 10 is going to be even better than Fast and Furious 9. That's what I'm hoping, because if there's going to be the final two, they shouldn't make the final one. Like, they shouldn't make both of them incredible. And I think that Fast and Furious 10 is probably going to be the biggest one, and we'll talk about that in the next video, probably. How reasons why Fast and Furious 10 is going to be the biggest action movie of all time. We might talk about that in the next video. So yeah, um, I guess that's it for this video. 
If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, please subscribe and share, and also hit the bell so you know new videos upload. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm out. Peace.